Hello. Today we have on your left Versace Eros Eau de Parfum EDP. On your right we have Blue de Chanel Eau de Parfum EDP. These are both very good scents and I'll go through the qualities of each scent through its transitions and let you know if you should buy it, maybe buy it again, and which one is on, which one am I going to wear today? But before I get into it, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. It'll help my make it'll help make my channel better. Thank you. On the initial alcohol blast for the Versace. You get a very fresh, citrus sweet scent. I really enjoy it. And on the Blue de Chanel, the initial alcohol blast, you get a sweet, aromatic, slight citrus and slight bamboo scent. After about 10, 15 minutes, as it starts to dry down, The Versace Eros, I get a fresh, sweet, and a spearmint type of scent coming in. On the Blue de Chanel, there's an amber that kicks in quite a bit, and there's some slight citrus, and the sweetness starts to fade away. But there's an amber cloud that's very interesting and sophisticated. And on the dry down, the Versace turns into a well-balanced, fresh spearmint with slight citrus. On the Blue de Chanel, you get a very quality smelling, sophisticated, sweet amber type of smell. And it leaves a cloud that I describe as waxy, not in a bad way but in a good way. Now projection, the Versace is very good. You get a nice scent bubble and a good sillage trail, and you'll probably get noticed with even regular spraying. On the Blue de Chanel, I would say it's low to moderate. You would have to spray quite a bit to have it be noticed. But if you wanted to have it as a skin scent, then just do regular spraying. On longevity, the Versace on my dry skin lasts four to five hours. It turns into a skin scent at about the two hour mark. And the Blue de Chanel on my dry skin, it'll probably last two to three hours. And it turns into a Skin scent, one hour in. Now, should you buy these? I would say yes. Now, there's a little caveat to that in that the Versace Eros line comes with different versions. There's the Eau de Toilette, and like this one here, the Eau de Parfum, and then there's the Parfum. And then there's a couple other versions of it. And they're quite similar, actually. So either one of those would be good, or all three, if you prefer. Now, Blue de Chanel is the same situation. There's an Eau de Toilette version, there's a Parfum version, and there's a Le Parfum version. And to me, they're similar but have their own unique characteristics. So I would say buy these, but choose the version that you like to start off. Then as you grow your collection, you could get the other versions. Now the Blue de Chanel rarely goes on sale. It's usually sold at full retail. And I believe I bought this at Dillard's. 
on a Versace, they're becoming more available through your discount, online discounters. So I would look for them online through your discounters. I really enjoy these fragrances. Blue de Chanel is very sophisticated and high quality. The Versace has a very nice, very good projection scent with good longevity. And it has a sweetness that has a fun quality about it. Well, I hope this has been helpful to you. And I wish you all a good day. Oh, which one would I wear? Sorry. Today, the Versace. I feel like I'm in a playful mood, yet not too silly. Just a little bit fun. Well, you all take care and stay safe. Thank you.